So you arrive at home late, you are tired, sit down on a couch, turn on the TV, National Geographic Channel. So they start to show these beautiful animals in the wild jungle, very nice, and then they completely change through night, right? Other kinds of animals, totally different. And then you question yourself, why is this? Why are there day animals and night animals? How this living being behavior is controlled if it's day or night? So one of the first experiments trying to understand this was performed in the 16th century by a, a French astronomer. He got that plant, mimosa, do you know, that opens the leaves during the day and closes during the night. He took that plant and put it in a room, dark room, no light. And he observed that even without the light, the plant continued to open the leaves during the day and close during the night. So probably there is something intrinsic inside the plant that is controlling this. After, now in the 60s, another French guy, a, a cave explorer, he locked himself inside the cage. So imagine himself inside this cage, cave, sorry. No light, no clocks, just wired up to collect data for days. And when he got out, he noticed that actually, more or less, he was kind of continuing to wake up during the day and falling asleep during the night. So last year, if you remember, the Nobel Prize winners in medicine, they actually won the Nobel Prize because they identified the genes, the part of your DNA that controls this behavior. They realized that there are several genes that are highly activated during day and other genes that are highly activated during night. But what is most interesting is that this is auto-regulated. You see, when it's day, the day genes are highly activated. So they start to activate the night genes, then the night genes start to get up, and when they get to a certain level, they start to deactivate the day genes. Then we got night. So during the day, day genes high. During the night, night genes high. And this is so our internal biological clock that controls our circadian rhythm, the rhythm that takes about a day. So guys, as a Take a home message. Is there any moms here? Can you raise your hands? One mom here, by the way. Congratulations for the Women's Day today, right? International Women's Day. So mom, you know, the next time that you tell your children, time to wake up, time to go to bed, and they start to complain, no, I don't know, I don't want, I don't want. You tell them, it's not me saying this. It's your DNA that's saying this. Thank you very much.